Yeah, it's kind of been a boring day, you know? I've been just like sitting here on a couch all day watching TV. Too bad there was nothing on. I mean, it's like pretty bad, isn't it, Sass? Yeah, very boring. Yeah, we need electricity in this place. Oh wait, here's a here's a plug-in. Let's plug this in. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh oh, what? Oh no. What's this about? Um, emergency alert system. Please stand by. SGE Apocalypse News. Interesting. What's going on? We are here with SGE News, downtown in Ground Zero. This is where it all began, folks. The, the, the zombie outbreak has appeared right here. They are coming at us as we speak. We need to get in there and get some of their, uh, their opinions on this fact of what's been going on right here. Let's go get him. Let's go check out this Sheila right here. This nurse. She be the one that is knighted. Why you? How does it feel to be a hoarder? That's great. Great thing. Thanks for your time. Is it... Are you a great as a hoarder? Oi. That must be her bigger brother right there. And hey, Mr. Wobbly, I met you earlier. You was out and about on the TV series. You used to be a, uh, an action hero. Oi, they're starting to get pretty feisty right here. So, I uh, like a uh, zombie outbreak, but it makes them hoard things after they die. It is very weird indeed. And we need to figure out how this all began. Oi, there's one of the big guys right now. Who's about to throw up everywhere? Oi, he's very nasty. Oi, you, come right here. You, how does it feel to be a hoarder? Oi, you blew up. Dying. They don't want to talk to me. Is there any hoarder over here? So this virus, it like broke out and now there's like all type of hoarding going on. Basically, whenever they die, they hoard things. They take rocks, they take sticks, planks. Oh, they even take the kitchen sink. You right here. Are you a good one or are you a bad one? Oi, he's a bad one. He said roar. So it seems like Ground Zero has actually been infested with those guys. And here's another Sheila right here. You're Sheila. How does it feel to be an out a hoarder? How does it feel to be a hoarder? Any any no. Oh, okay. There, there's no news on that. She don't like to comment on being a hoarder. Oi, there's another one. Another nurse. Oi, nurse! How does it feel to be a hoarder? Anything? You got any comments on that? Nothing? Really? What would happen if I, like, poke you right here? I poked her, but nothing happened. You seen it first on SGA News, guys. So this outbreak happened when someone stole some research from the... Oi, there's another cop fella. He's very big and bloody. And he likes to puke a lot. But these guys, they're not so bad. They're not so bad at all. We could poke him with a stick right like that. And he explodes. You'll see that? That's just... That's crazy.
And so we got a lot of things going on here. And so this all happened once someone stole some research from a doctor who was developing a cure for his hoarding. Oh, there's a dog. Oi, doggy. How does it feel to be a hoarder? Anything? You got any comments on that, doggy? She loves got it. That's a bad, nasty fella. Here's another one of these naked guys. So the hoarding things make you take off all of your clothes. Oi, I think he hoarded himself and stole his own clothing. And then he wobbles about like that. He's got like a limp to him. Oh, there's his brother. His brother still has some shorts on. So we gotta get back to the center of this. But once this guy, he had his research stolen, so he researched his virus to counter hoarding backwards. And so it ended up killing the fella. And then he went all out, and he found, like, all type of different virus thing going on. He got sick. He died. Came back. And the first thing he did was hoard all of his equipment from his uh, research lab there. And then he bit somebody, and then the virus was passed on to them. That is quite crazy indeed. Oi, we're gonna poke another cop feather. Right like this. Poke. Apparently, you can run right into them, and they won't do a thing except explode. And so they're all over the streets right here. There's so much going on. And there's like all type of guys everywhere. But once they got that virus going up, they started infecting the whole city. And then before you knew it, the entire country was gone. No government, no nothing. They were gone, just absolutely gone. And it's been getting worse every day as the other survivors are starving to death as well as just walking out there. So it seems like everybody has been infected even before they die. But once I die, that's when they come back as one of these fellas. And now we've got a lot of other things going on right now. Our studio is impenetrable. Well, we can defend and we can keep it going as long as the news crew likes. Now my cameraman, my cameraman is very, very intensive. But I control my own camera right here. He just filmed behind me all the way through all this. I think he might have been bitten though. With that cop fella. Uh, Sheila, Sheila just provides some simple protection out there. And there's a lot of other things here, like this abandoned building right here. We don't know what happened, but it's only like the government started bombing things once they started getting out there. They discovered the hoarders, and then they started just blowing up the place. Like, I don't know how they plan to save humanity doing that, but they have done a lot of bad things right there. And there's like almost no buildings left. As you can see right here, there's a dead dog right there. Can we interview you, sir puppy dog? You, sir, how does it feel to be a zombie dog? You're dead. Okay. He's dead, sirs. You guys heard it all first with the zombie dog news.
No, this is SGE News, and we will see you guys that was an around. Interesting uh, broadcast that we just witnessed. So we went down here to kind of check it out. Isn't that right, Sass? Like, this is pretty bad out here. This is insane. Yes, yes it is. More coming in from behind. Oh man, they got way worse guys. By the way, it is day 20 and I'm Sin. And I'm Sam. And this is episode 16. Or of our season 2 of the Sin and Sass survival guides. That little punk. Thanks for mining for me. Much appreciated. I'll take these rocks though. Thank you. We're getting over it. Yeah. Alright, we gotta retreat. Let's go back inside. Wow, Sass. <laughs> you don't take security lightly, do you? No. So, uh, that's a pretty secure entrance, I would say. So we gotta duck in underneath uh, some of these stairway doors, but... Here, I'm breaking windows and stuff. No, that was me. Ah, oh, yeah? I'm gonna look out hole so I can kill. Ah, cool. Wow, there's a lot of doors. So yeah, guys, Sass's theory when it comes to uh, keeping out hordes, you can never have too many doors. Yeah. She has spent the past two in-game days doing nothing but mining in the uh, nearest mine to get everything needed to do all of this. And at the same time, I was kind of looting this place. We wanted to test out our new auger. What can I say? And here's our fancy new home. I mean, look at this. This is pretty fancy here. We've got our couch, and that's the TV we saw the news broadcast on. You alright down there? Yeah. So I'm not seeing any more on my side over here. I seem to be hitting you a lot with that puke. Yeah. These bitches are bashing on my fucking door. Oh man. I'll try to be on B defense up here. I know guys, they are hornets and not really bees, but I'm calling them bees anyway, because everybody else does. They're freaking bees. Hornets don't carry honey. Right? They are bees. Even though they call themselves hornets, they are bees. They are actually just humble bees. Nothing special. But yeah, hornets have much, much longer stingers and usually aren't yellow. Only three more bees.
Two more. That's a lot of bees up there. Nah, I'm killing them slowly. They are very difficult to hit though. Oh, there's a zombie on the roof. A burning zombie on the roof. Guys, once oh, again. No. Oh. Kill that before it burns a hole through the roof. Right? Once again, this is another demonstration that uh, other zombies are climbing walls. This guy did not spawn up here. He actually climbed the wall. So I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but yeah, there's zombies who are climbing walls and they're not supposed to be. Well, there was a uh, um, guy last night that I was talking to that was saying that they could climb up there. Uh, like they can get on the roof. Yeah, it's weird. Because they're not supposed to. Well, I can't even see that one anymore. Oh, there's the big bee standing right in front of me. Come on, punk. Show your face. So yeah, this is kind of like our little defense thing here. There he is. Eat that bee. Thanks for your honey. I'm gonna go get that. We got a dead zombie in the middle of the sky. Yeah, it's probably that zombie I kicked off the roof. But I never made it to the ground. <laughs> He's magic. If that did not hit him, that's so messed up because that was a perfect shot. And look guys, that one right there is like an eagle coming at us. Okay, this one's now on us. Gotcha, B. See ya, B. Alright. Yeah, it's weird because they call them a hornet, but they're not a hornet. These bees really aren't the smartest. So I'll give you a little tour of what uh, Sass has been working on so far. She's got a little garden going up up here too. It's actually got the coffee ready to be harvested. And she's just down there hunting away. We created this nice little area here. And uh, so she's put uh, concrete blocks in all of these holes so that there is no more sky ceiling. No more windows up here. So we could never go wrong, right? And that's the door to her balcony. We got some candles going on up in here. Her fancy living room. Her pictures on the wall. Four forges. Tons of storage crates because it's sass and she loots everything. Oh yeah, must have the loot. We, we even went in here and made two gun safes. One for melee weapons, one for guns. And this is our bedroom. We do have our bedrolls actually placed now, so yeah. It's all cool. Something else I found pretty cool though was this bathroom here. It's got this unique little bathtub here. And like that glass, there's like two layers of it, so it's like a sliding glass door on the shower. That's pretty cool, right? Too bad there wasn't any water in it. Oh yeah, that, that shower is amazing. Did you try it out? Yep. Oh man, the apocalyptic showers. That's the perfect. They're the best. For sure. Eh. What yeah. better way to wash the zombie blood off? Right? Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. Sorry it was kind of not too action packed, but we did have a huge horde down there and she's kind of still clearing them out. 
Um, but we're out of time, so we will see you guys next time. Till then, keep sinful, keep alive, and keep watching. I'm Sin. And I'm Sam. We will see you guys next time.